Hi, this is Dave Hompes from h-pylori-symptoms.com. Um, just wanting to uh, clarify a few issues here over the next three or four minutes about heartburn and what causes it, uh, and also give you some food for thought about how you want to go about treating your heartburn and reflux symptoms, because this is really, really, really important stuff, um, and I, I don't want you to miss it. I'm going to try and be as, as simple as possible with it. I really don't want you to miss this information because it's critical to getting you feeling good again. Now. There seems to be uh, this uh, incorrect message coming out that most people's heartburn or reflux or burning in here is due to uh, the stomach producing too much acid. In actual fact, that probably only causes heartburn in a few people. Now, it sounds a bit weird. You think, well, surely if there's burning there, there must be too much acid, but it's not necessarily that way. The reason many people get heartburn is because there is some kind of irritation to the lining of the digestive system and doesn't matter how much acid is there, if you have acid contacting with damaged tissue, it's gonna hurt. Just to give you an example, here is a knife. It's not a very sharp knife, fortunately, because I don't wanna do myself any damage. If I cut myself, if I cut my arm there, okay, until it was bleeding, and then I took a bottle of vinegar Everybody knows that if you put vinegar in a cut, it hurts. It doesn't really matter whether I put half the bottle, the full bottle, a small few drops on that cut, it's still going to hurt like hell. It's still gonna be really painful. The same thing's true inside your stomach. If you have damaged tissue, doesn't matter how much acid there is there, it's still going to hurt. So, what causes damage to the gut lining and the digestive tissue? Well, certain foods that we eat cause problems, okay? certain uh, bacteria that we get in our digestive system, particularly H. pylori, Helicobacter pylori, can damage the gut and start to cause um, heartburn and reflux problems. Um, other digestive infections and yeast and fungal overgrowth can cause the same symptoms. Threadworm, for example, which is an organism called strongyloids, that can cause exactly the same symptoms as H. pylori. Yeast and fungal overgrowth in the stomach and throat can cause exactly the same symptoms as H. pylori. Um, and H. pylori can cause exactly the same symptoms as some of the foods that you eat. So we never quite know what's causing the problem in each individual, but it's certainly not too much acid. The other cause is a hernia. A hernia is, is a, a problem with the diaphragm. Um, I won't go into it in too much detail. That's something that we can only really check for with um, an endoscopic procedure. I don't really work with people with, uh, with hernias because I can't, I can't really do anything with them, but we can certainly help with all these different things. Now, the key to this in terms of treatment is that if you go to the doctor with heartburn, the number one prescription you get is antacid medications. Antacids, it means they're stopping the stomach producing acid. But we've just said that actually, too much acid is probably not the problem. It's what acid is already there, just causing a burning or a stinging sensation in the damaged tissue. So the repercussions of this are massive. Number one, the uh, antacid medications ha can have significant side effects on people. Um, number two, they stop you digesting your food. This is absolutely critical because if you stop your stomach producing acid with these medications, they cannot, you, your stomach cannot break down the food that you eat. Therefore, it sits there in an undigested state, it goes putrid, it starts to give off gases, and that causes heartburn. So what we're saying here is that in a lot of cases, the medications that you're being given are actually causing the problem. And another complication is that if you are on these medications long term, omeprazole, Nexium, Prilosec, uh, all the different names that you will have for them, Pantoprazole, um, Prevacid, etc., um, and you suddenly come off them, you can get a huge acid rebound as a result, which can cause problems that are 10 times worse than the one that you, pre that you actually went on the medications for in the first place. So I just wanted to make that clear. Now, if you sort your diet out, if you've uh, find H. pylori or find another bug that's causing a problem and remove it, you will never need those medications again. You won't need to spend money. You won't need to have the side effects. You won't need to shut your digestive system down. If you have heartburn and reflux, there will be a simple cause, but it's not an antacid deficiency. You can use the antacids very short term to reduce the pain while you work on the problem underneath. Um, but if you rely on them for the rest of your life, you could be setting yourself up for big, big trouble, okay? So I hope that helps. If you'd like further information, my website is www.h-pylori-symptoms.com. My name's Dave Hompez, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Thanks.